The problem that we are going to discuss today is golf. The problem appeared in May 21 long challenge and has a difficulty level of cakewalk. There are no prerequisites to solve this problem. The problem statement goes as follows. We are given the value n and also there are n plus 2 tiles numbered from 0 to n plus 1. So as you can see that I have taken an example where n is equals to 6. So tiles numbering from 0 to 7 are present from left to right. Now it is also given that there is a hole on tile number x. So in my case x is equals to 4. So I have marked it with a special flag. So there is a hole on this tile number 4. Now what happens is that we are playing the game of golf. So we hit the ball by standing on tile number 0. So the ball starts from tile number 0 and it bounces at length k. So the value of k will be given in the input as well. So for example, if the value of k is 2, then the bounces will be of 2 length. So it will go from 0 to 2, then from 2 to 4, 4 to 6 and so on. Similarly, if we start from the right end, that is from the n plus 1th tile as given in the question, the ball will be shot from right to left. So, but the bounce length will be again same that is of length 2. So while coming from right to left the ball will start from 7 then go from 7 to 5 then from 5 to 3, 3 to 1 and so on. Now what is the question? We are asked whether the ball will ever enter the hole either in its forward journey or the backward journey. So first we play from left to right. If in that play the ball enters the hole the answer will be yes. If if not, we will also try to shoot the ball from the rightmost end that is from tile number n plus 1. It is given in the question. So we will check that as well. If in that also the ball uh, does not enter, then the answer is no. So we have to check both of them forward and the backward journey. If in either of them the ball enters the hole, the answer is going to be yes or else the answer is going to be no. The question is pretty simple. Now let's see how to approach and write the solution. The solution approach goes as follows. It is pretty evident from the question and intuitive as well that the answer only depends on the values of n, x and k. So for our understanding and better uh, visualization, I have drawn the tiles that is numbered from 0 to n plus 1 and this is from left to right numbering. So this will be helpful for the forward journey that is when I shoot my ball from the leftmost tile. So let's assume that if the value of k was 2 then the jumps would be of 2 length right so 0 to 2, 2 to 4 and so on. So in the forward journey I just have to check whether my given particular whole number x so let's say there was a particular x over here so I just have to check whether x is a multiple of k that is if x is a perfect multiple of k, then the ball will enter the hole in the forward journey. If not, I have to check the backward journey as well. So to simplify things, I can renumber the tiles for my convenience. So I can number again from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So here it will be n-1, n minus here it will be n and here n plus 1. And because the jumps are again of length k, then in this new numbering as well, the ball will start from 0, then go to 2, then go to 4, 6 and so on. But just that this numbering is not from left to right, this is from right to left. So for any given case, we just have to check whether x is first of all a multiple of k. If yes, then the ball goes in the hole in the forward journey. If not, we have to check the backward journey. For that, we need this new numbering. So how to find this new numbering? So there is a clear observation over here which you might have seen till now that is the old numbering and the new numbering always sums up to n plus 1. So you can see that here 0 plus n plus 1 is total n plus 1 again n plus 1 again n minus 1 plus 2 that is n plus 1. In short the new numbering let's call this new numbering is nothing but n plus 1 that is the total minus the original number. So let's say i. So for any number particular let's say 5 if I want to find the new numbering then it will be n 
plus 1 minus 5. So in that manner I can find the new number for the particular number x and check whether x is a multiple of k. If not then is the new number multiple of k. So let's understand this better using an example. So in this example you can see that the value of n is 6, x is 4 and k is 3. So I have drawn a diagram and there are n plus 2 tiles that is from 0 to n plus 1 and the jump is of length 3 and the hole is present on tile number 4. So th because the jump is of length 3 the ball will go from 0 to 3 then from 3 to 6 and so on. Now I have to just check whether the value of x that is 4 is 4 a multiple of 3. So as you can see that 4 is not a multiple of 3 that does not mean our answer is no because we also shoot from the right hand side. So in that case the numbering would look like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now the new number can be found out by using our formula that is n plus 1 minus x. What is the value of x? x is 4. So the answer that we will get is 7 minus 4 that is 3. And because this number 3 is now a multiple of k, hence our answer is yes. So we saw here that in the backward journey we got our answer as yes. So that's pretty much the solution. We have to just check both the cases forward and the backward journey. Now let's quickly see the C++ implementation. So in the C++ implementation we start by taking the input for n, x and k as instructed then we check whether x is a multiple of k that is for forward journey and for the backward journey we check whether n plus 1 minus x is a multiple of k. If any of this is true then our answer is yes or else our answer is no. So the code is pretty much simple. I hope everyone understood it. Now I would like to tell you guys about the competitive programming tutorials that we have at CodeChef. So if you are new to programming and want to learn concepts, you can go over here and learn the concepts which are taught by our expert educators and they are all available for free and it is pretty much everything there is to cover in competitive programming. Also if you want even more structured content, don't forget to uh, opt for our Unacademy Plus subscription and while doing so use my referral code DARSHANKUL25 to get instant 10% discount.